Hi everyone, Grant K here for the Flame Premium Learning Channel. In recent versions of Flame Premium, Python has been introduced into the application to perform a series of tasks. You can launch custom tasks from within Flame Premium, automate certain processes, as well as customize the Flame family into your facilities pipeline. So if you are engineering savvy or have someone to do it for you, you can really open up Flame Premium to loads of possibilities. Now, like most of you, I'm a visual person and not really a programmer. So to get a taste of what you can do with Python, we're going to look at a Python script to build a basic single-shot collaboration between Flame Premium and other third-party products. We'll dabble a bit in the terminal or shell just to get started, but no Python knowledge is required to give this a go. If you would like to follow along, please click the link in the YouTube description to download the Python script. Alternatively, if you're watching the podcast version of this video, then type the link displayed in your internet browser. Before we start, I would like to mention that this script was written as an example of what you can do with Python. You could use this with real-world work, but I recommend writing your own so it does exactly what you want. A big special thanks to J.F. Bouchard, who wrote this and wanted to share it with everyone. Now, the goal of this Python script is to monitor a single shot being developed outside of Flame Premium. In other words, as new versions of the shot are being created, the Flame Premium products can be updated with the changes. This is done by using a watch folder as well as creating and updating an open clip used by the Flame products. Now, before the shot is imported into Flame Premium, we need to set up a few things. We'll first create a new folder and then run the Python script to start monitoring that folder. I'm going to use a shell, but you could use a file manager to create a folder. So, in a shared storage location, I will type mkdir vfx underscore shot1. Next, I'll go into this directory by typing cd VFX shot one. If I list the directory contents by typing ls, you will see that there is nothing there. Now it is extremely important that this directory or folder has full read and write permissions. This ensures that files can be read or written without any errors. Now that the folder is set up, we can launch the Python script to monitor it. You can keep the Python script anywhere on your system but you need to note down its location to run it. In my case, I will type forward slash var forward slash temp forward slash python forward slash husky.py. The file was saved in the var temp python directory and you just type the full script name. When you press enter, this executes the script. The first and only question the script will ask you is what folder you would like to watch. You need to type in the full path of your folder in order for this to work. In my case, it is the forward slash mnt forward slash lunaso3 forward slash vfx shot1. Now press enter. The script starts working and you will see it monitoring the folder every few seconds. And that is it. You can go back to Flame Premium and leave that window running in the background. If at any point you want to check or stop the script, just ALT tab to the shell and close it. You now can notify the other artist that the folder is ready for any upcoming renders. So here we are in After Effects and the second artist is working on VFX Shot 1. Now I'm using After Effects, but this could be Nuke, Fusion, Resolve or any other application in your pipeline. The Python script monitors a folder and does not care about the application. So the first version of the VFX Shot 1 is ready and I would like to send it to Flame. I'll add this composite to the render queue and set up a few settings. The render settings will be best quality and I'll set my output to render DPX. As for the render location, I'll navigate to the shared location containing the VFX Shot 1 folder. The folder is empty as I mentioned earlier as no VFX versions have been processed yet. So create a new folder called V001. 
this folder indicates the first VFX version of Shot 1. Now go into this folder. You can keep the same file name or change it to whatever you want. The important part is that each render needs to be placed in its own version folder. The Python script is scanning for subfolders and contents in order to create and update the open clip. Click Save and press Render. The files will now be created into the version 1 folder. Now let's switch back to Flame Premium to see what happens. The Python script is monitoring the folders as the files are processed. Once the render is complete, you will get an on screen notification that an open clip has been created and updated. Now go to the Media Hub and navigate to the Watch folder on the shared storage. In the VFX Shot 1 folder, you will see an open clip and the V001 version folder. So when these files were rendered, the open clip was created and updated with version 1. Drag the open clip into the media panel and switch to the timeline area. Now add the VFX Shot 1 open clip into the sequence. When we view this segment in the sequence, we can see the render from the other application. In the middle toolbar, you can see what we are looking at is designated as version 1. This is absolutely fine and you can carry on working on other parts of the sequence. But let's say the VFX shot is still in development and more versions are being created. So let's switch back to After Effects. So while we've been busy in Flame, the artist on this workstation has produced another version. As before, the render queue has been set to the render DPX files at best quality. Click the render location and navigate to the VFX Shot 1 folder. There is the original V001 folder with the first render, and you will also notice the open clip that was created by the Python script. To add another version to the open clip, create a new folder called V002. Go into this folder and change the file name if desired. Click Save. Press Render again and After Effects will start processing. Back in Flame, as soon as the render is complete, the Python script will update the open clip and display the notification. Select the VFX Shot 1 segment and call up the contextual menu. Choose the option to update to the latest version. The new version appears in the viewer and you can still toggle between the first and second version of the VFX Shot. Now you can go back as many times as you like and create another version. This is not application specific, so you can use any tools you want. Now I've been using a Linux system to run the script with Flame Premium. However, you can run the same script with Flare or Flame Assist on a Mac. The only extra bit you need to know is that you need to run two extra commands in the terminal to make notifications work with the Mac notification system. Just look in the Python script with the text editor to see the specific commands. Finally, please remember that this is a basic watch folder Python script that only works with one shot at a time. It's a simple monitoring system that accepts renders from any application. So as files are rendered or even copied into the version folders, the open clip updates and then you update the versions in the Flame products. If you want a more intelligent and facility managed workflow, please look at Autodesk Shotgun collaborating with Flame Premium. Once again, a big special thanks to JF Bouchard for this great script and we hope you find this handy. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Flame Premium Learning Channel for future videos.